married couple took off in a small plane today only to come crashing back down shortly after the takeoff. Then the plane went up in flames. CBS 4's Joan Murray joins us now live from Broward Health North where one of the victims is being treated. Joan, get us up to date. Yeah, good evening, Cynthia. The one survivor is here in the hospital in good condition. Her husband was transferred to Jackson Memorial Hospital, and he is in stable condition. Everyone is saying this couple is very lucky to be alive after surviving the crash and the fire that happened afterwards. After you've seen smoke, then I heard like a pop. You can barely recognize the small plane that crashed and then exploded in flames in the Everglades west of the Sawgrass Expressway. Kristen Patton was fishing close by, saw smoke, and went to see what happened. So I drove over here, seeing that there was like smoke and flames. So I went over to where the yellow gate was and I asked if, if everyone was okay. And I didn't hear nothing back, so then I just moved out the way. All the fire trucks, everything, everyone pulled up and they got in, into the gate and then went, went out there. The couple on board the plane, Sonia and Kenneth McKenzie of Fort Lauderdale, were taken to Broward Health North. Kenneth McKenzie was later transferred to Jackson Memorial Hospital because of extensive burns to his body. The couple left Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport just before 11 in the morning en route to Lynchburg, Virginia. Once airborne, they sent a distress signal to the airport. They noticed after the distress call that the radar indicated that the plane was losing altitude, and after they were unable to contact them on the radio, contacted us by 911 to have crews to respond. The couple told rescuers after they realized something was wrong with the plane, finding a place to land was not easy. When they got west of the airport, uh, they said that there was uh, an oil pressure drop uh, resulting in an engine failure. And uh, Mr. McKenzie had to look for a spot to put that airplane down. Uh, he chose a, uh, an access road west of the Sawgrass Expressway and, and north of the Sawgrass Expressway. And uh, they had a pretty hard landing. And once again, Mrs. McKenzie, good condition here. Her husband in stable condition in Miami. The National Transportation Safety Board is being called in to examine exactly what happened. In Deerfield Beach tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.